Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a new number one. What would that number one be, you ask? That would be Deadpool and Wolverine, surpassing the Joker as the highest grossing R-rated movie of all time. But before I get into that, just wanted to give a shout out and a thanks to anybody here that's uh, new. This is your first time watching one of my videos or a big thank you to anybody that's coming back to watch, watch my videos, specifically this one. Um, and if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button. Both those things do help out with the YouTube algorithm, help get my videos promoted. If you want to see more, be sure to do that. Oh, by the way, leave a comment before you leave. So Deadpool and Wolverine surpassed my expectations. Um, a few months ago when I did a couple videos about this movie, uh, I projected 800 million. Well, boy, was I wrong. Deadpool and Wolverine actually right now, four weeks at the box office is sitting at $1.142 billion. And it's just about split 50, 50 between the domestic box office and the international box office. It's pretty close. 545.8 million here domestically and another 596.8 at the international. Now, Joker ended its run at the box office of 1.064. Now, I'm not sure how many weeks it took for Joker to get to that number. Um, according to the numbers here, 7.5 weeks average run per theater. So it took it a few weeks. Deadpool did it in four. <laughs> and yes, yes, yes. People didn't like the movie because the story was rather thin. Yes, the story was thin. Uh, some people didn't like the movie because, um, I don't know. It just wasn't for them. Me, I like the movie. I saw it twice. So, Kevin Feige. How did he celebrate? This is from over on X. Uh, he celebrated by getting a letter. <laughs> and that little letter's got all the drug names that weren't allowed in the movie. <laughs> So, yeah, it's a thanks for making Marvel Studios' first R-rated movie the biggest of all time. It's fantastic to see that audiences are loving this movie as much as we all love making it. All those conversations were worth it. Kevin Feige. Ryan Reynolds. Now, imagine if Hugh had done Full Frontal with the cow on, of course. <laughs> gotta love Ryan Reynolds. Now, it's, it's, it's gotta be said that this doesn't mean that the MCU is back. Because this movie really doesn't have anything to do with what the MCU has planned going forward with Avengers Doomsday, Avengers Secret Wars, and whatever else they're going to roll out in the next couple of years. This movie was a, um, I'll just say it's a love letter to the fans. It's to put to bed, put to sleep the, the Fox properties. Um... And it was just meant to, to go and have fun for a couple hours. So there you go. We got a new number one for highest grossing R-rated movie of all time. Tell me what you think. Comment down below. Love to hear what you guys have to say. Again, while you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, I will see you guys later.